So I'm quite emotional, aren't they? I've been concerned and now terrified of hastening climate change for about 20 years. I'm worried that a local natural disaster might happen while our grandchildren are here with us. And I'm worried that as we become older, we will become more vulnerable to living in rural areas and may have to move. I do worry about the future for grandchildren and their children even after this because uh, there's, there is going to be so much change. Climate change is such a anxiety inducing phenomenon and I mean I relate to every single one of her worries like worrying about yourself, about the future generations, about the people on the front lines of the climate crisis. Yeah. The water rose to two metres over the roof of my raised home in North Lismore. I was a renter. My landlord was unable to claim his flood insurance due to the damages exceeding the amount he was insured for, over 320k. We have nowhere else to go, like so many of us. We are forced to live where it isn't safe because there isn't affordable housing. It's heartbreaking. How is our community going to recover after so many major catastrophes? People have been living in tents for months and we know this is going to happen again. People risk their lives saving the lives of others. Where is the support for them and what's going to happen next time? It's obviously really, really sad. It's horrible that these people are having to go through that. I'm now retired and looking at a bill of $80,000 worth of damages that will destroy my retirement savings. The federal government is still supporting fossil fuel companies, when in reality those same companies are responsible for this carnage. We should be asking these same companies to pay for the damage they are inflicting on society. Yep, yeah, send them a bill. It must be so hard. How do you pick up if you're retired? How do you pick up from this and, and start again? How, where, where do these people find money to keep going? Our child has lots of questions and knows that these events prevent him from kindergarten and daycare and seeing loved ones at times. Interestingly, it's not affected his sleep or anything as he just accepts these disasters as normal. Feel this one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think of my little boy like explaining it to young children who shouldn't have to deal with these things but will be on the forefront and that this is all they'll ever know. This is normal to him. We need a massive shift from the government who continues to subsidise fossil fuels. We need a massive increase in funding for mental health services. We need to engage with, fund and support First Nations people to help them heal country and to listen and follow the scientific community's advice urgently. What gives me hope is the mobilisation of, of youth. The community's support in the aftermath of these unnatural disasters. I think that community spirit is so important and what we need to back that up with is government resources and funding. We need to do so much and there is no more time to waste. Every action matters and we need it all immediately. Yeah, so true.